crown jewel just passed so yeah, yeah I'm, I'm pretty sure at this point by your time y'all watching the crown jewel pass and raw pass so this is what we're gonna do like we always do we're not gonna recap the shit. we're gonna give our prediction on what's next for the superstars in that match so the way we, the way we're gonna go we're gonna go through the matches not in particular order because i think i fucked up the order but it is what it is we are we're gonna live we're gonna live you, you know nobody gonna die crown jewel what's next that's what we're gonna call it good to roll oh yeah sammy zane versus jd mcdonough jd mcdonough's doing a lot of overselling in this match but what, what, what we got well raw past and clearly these tools in war games but like i told you like i told you off camera the, well, I didn't tell you this off camera, but I, before Raw happened, I thought Sami Zayn should have been the next person in line to uh, go against Seth Rollins for the belt. Yeah. And they just said, fuck it, let's get it over with on Raw, which I think is a complete shit on Sami Zayn. But, you know, he's in war games, war games, war games, you know. So I guess that's a plus for him. I'm not sure. Uh, I... I like the uh, the whole Sami Zayn being up next. Is just, I mean, that war games. I they could use that to add a different dynamic to it because it could be Sami Zayn's on the gun for the title, and it could be like this weird tension between him and Seth. I'm about to say Seth between him and Seth. But in the war game could be like, can I trust you? I'm like, nah, I cannot trust you or whatever. But I mean, yeah. I guess they could pick that up right after, right after war games or whatever. They can, yeah. but I, 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 it's like they they wasted that match. Like they could have just, you know, let that be. Like, hey, I want my title match down the line type shit, or we can get like a quick match in, and then they do the same thing. The, the waste the title shot. Another Seth title shot at that. Like, wow, like Seth already getting stale. Y'all gonna put him on Raw in the main event again for the belt and win again? Like, come on, bro. I think they fucked that up real quick. But hey, that's Blizzard Blaze's opinion. That's what y'all that's why y'all tune in to get the real the real opinion, like not the bullshit. Like, you know. I think that might have been more of a heat check just to see if they were fucking with that or not. Just Who would see. fuck with that match? Yeah, I mean on paper, yeah, it would be nice, but bro. They get they gave us Seth Rollins versus damn it everybody. Yeah, yeah. You could give you could throw you could throw some you could throw Sami Zayn in, in a main event at a pay-per-view. He's right. still he's still over. Uh, Speaking of Seth, Seth versus Drew. Seth is slowly becoming Roman Reigns. He think he looking good, but he's getting stale and stale. He just like that bread on top of the refrigerator and nobody feel like eating sandwiches, you know? One more gonna turn it into bread putting out the wild. That's 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 how Sam is in. That's I mean, that's how Seth Rollins is right now. Nobody likes bread pudding. Yeah. I don't know. You know how to do it. You know how to do it. I I, I had some fire bread put in my life. Oh, I've never had it. It just doesn't look like something I'll fuck with. You gotta try it. Try the right one. Go to the right restaurant. Try the right one. But we already talked about set. I mean, he in war games, war games, war games. You know, and I guess we're not gonna get a title defense in, at Survivor Series. So I don't know when it comes. So this is more about Drew. The fuck is next for you, bro? Like at this point, if I had to make a suggestion. This is my storyline. This is my thought process. Drew should just fucking say fuck it and <clears throat> join the judgment day. Just boom. Look, there you go. He could be the fifth man when it comes to war games because it got to be five on five. And. Not necessarily. It don't, but I, I mean, just in case. I, again, what they got left for Drew? He challenged for the top belt. What? He going to show up again? Something like that, Lord. Like the only thing is, you gotta refresh them. Gotta hit the reset button. You know, load that. a cartridge and put it back in. Hit the reset button a few times to see what happens. Like him joining the Judgment Day, get a, get a purple kilt. You know what I'm saying? Put some flames on the sword. There you go. You know what's next? Him holding back Atlanta for hostage 
and holding that sword up to her neck. Not after war games, you gotta go through war games. You got like what two more weeks, so you know. Unless he to be the reason set lose war games, but you know, I don't know. I thought I thought this was a deflating loss for him, and I can't even think of a good storyline for him after this, except joining the Judgment Day. You think they should have pulled the trigger and just gave him the belt? Yeah, you they'll give you time to think of something for him. It's give set time to do to do whatever. Like I, I, I how yeah. we gonna believe? So pretty much he'll have to completely turn heel and act like he has a new motivation, like fucking Vegeta or something like that on Dragon Ball Z. He, I found the new motivation to get stronger because he turned evil, and now oh, we're supposed to believe he gonna win because he evil. You know, like <laughs> we need to do that shit. But that's 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 the route we probably have to go. I had to get to my darker ways to 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 be better than you, Seth. That's that's Dragon Ball Z. We watched that. That's the that's the Vegeta Majin Buu thing. Like, come on, man. Who who I'm writing this stuff? I was he gonna start. He gonna start wearing black, but he already wearing black. Like I said, doing the judging day probably next round for Drew in my book. Yeah, I mean, well, I guess he'll fit in with judging day. They 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 all just. That's a weird group. Somehow it works, but it's just like they all weird. Speaking of Judgment Day, the five-way match. Yeah. Let's keep it funky, man. This is always to make Rhea look strong. She got to stay looking strong for Becky. If y'all watch Raw, Becky got kicked in the fucking face, and then she couldn't be in the, the Royal, the, the Royal, not the Royal, the Battle Royal to uh. To be the number one contender for real, like when I say this is the most obvious, oh, keep them out the way to WrestleMania tactic they've been doing. This is the most obvious they've been doing it. Like what Becky got punched in the fucking nose and became a star. She can't take a kick from the from the Mortal Kombat lady. Man, get out of here with that shit. Nah, they 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 clearly just they clearly just avoiding Rhea and Becky for the time being. So we got <coughs> my bad. So we got November, December. And I guess they're gonna start the storyline maybe in January. So back and winning the Royal Rumble. I hope not. I hope they fix it to what uh, damn she probably do, man. So yeah, that that's one of the women's matches I have for WrestleMania this year. I got uh Rhea versus Becky. That's that's a clear WrestleMania match. I'm not sure who's gonna win the Royal Rumble. When you think about it, it might do be fucking Becky. But there's another clear obvious we we compete we can we keep me all away from each other till wrestlemania match going on too but as far as this one goes it's Rhea and becky and you, and you never know they might let becky win the royal rumble again they try to push becky crazy as hell but i think becky overrated he's a becky a hot take girl. if that's a hot take i mean you probably find becky overrated she, she got star power but she don't got the matches in her i mean i don't think I don't think she's overrated. I don't think she's the greatest, but eh, she's all right. <clears throat> all right. Next up, we finally got what we wanted. Finally. Solo got his match with one of the legends, and he beat, <laughs> and he beat the shit out of him. I'm talking about Cena. Look, I'm doing, doing a match. I, and I know it's not a recap, but I'm just saying. We've been preaching this for like months, months, and it's still not the ass whooping I wanted. I'm talking about just from start to finish, just solo, just. But look, it's a start. Bro. It's a start, and yeah, beat the bro. beat the shit out of him. Just bro, just bro, beat, beat spiking him. That's enough. Now do it again. Okay. All right, that's enough. Three more times. All right, all right. It's not funny no more. Do it because it's not funny. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> one more time, then get out of there. It was that uh, wasn't good enough. That wasn't good enough. Do it three more times. That third one was kind of shaky. Let's do it six times. All right, now you can pin them. What's next for solo? Goldberg. Yeah, that's what's next for solo. We 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 take we put them on a mission to take all the legends out. Anybody who think about coming back because you don't got nothing to do like Cena did. So we sick and so long. He's he the true enforcer now. So all y'all legends who think y'all coming back, solo got the spike ready for you. Yeah, 
I'm good on the whole Goldberg thing. But anybody who try to come back, ain't no part time, ain't no WrestleMania checks around here, bet. Like Spike, you're in me straight up. I'm trying, I, I'm trying to see who the next, who the perfect opponent can be for. Hey, Rick, I, Rick, I heard, I, I got, I got, I, I got backstage news. Rick Flair tried to show up real quick, and Solo pulled up like, "What you doing here, Rick?" And he said, "I was just dropping off some Woo! mail." Yeah. He went to AEW. Trouble, brother. <laughs> he was Rick Flesh said he was dropping off some mail and with the AEW. I'm like, okay, solo, you got our back. You, you make it show, you know. Ain't, ain't none of that going on. Solo the true enforcer now. Shout out to solo. So you think Cena, you think Cena uh done? Ain't no way he going his last match in Saudi Arabia. I'm sorry, Saudi. Look, I'm keeping it funk with y'all. Seen ain't no retiring no Saudi Arabia, bro. Like <laughs> you better look, you better look on the calendar to see when they when they wrestling in Massachusetts again. Uh <laughs> uh who is WrestleMania 40 opponent gonna be? That's the only two things I see out of Cena. WrestleMania 40, when he probably get his catch back on solo, or Randy Orton show up and they say, you know what, we both done on some shit. Let's just let's just uh finally yeah. try to get a good match, a memorable match, and we can both ride off on old bikes. Have like a stone cold and rock at 19 um, moment. Pretty much, yeah. Cause uh I mean I don't know who I've seen it could go against, if I'm being honest. I, I, I don't believe he could put over talent no more. You know, I know he put over solo, but man, me and King been seeing that in solo, so we ain't he ain't get no credit for that scene. I mean, you really you could have just put solo in the ring with any fucking body along with solo whooping their ass. Exactly, so, exactly. Yeah. So we ain't give you credit for that scene. No, I see you trying to get credit. Nope, nope, nope. Dang. We need solo. He deserves more, more credit than you've seen. Solo should have just ripped out a patch of his skin or some shit. But nah, I seen it every time. Ain't no, ain't no fucking way. Fuck no. All right. Logan Paul versus Rey Mysterio. I called it. I told you it did. You happen. did. We had a little fuckery going on. The good old brass oh, knucks. Like, so, why was I told this? Randomly sit the uh, you know why, work. you know why, wrestling, you wrestling, know, and we need some fuck that to get to the brass nuts, and then you just start chasing after them and just randomly sit it down, Look, right? We, down. we let me see one, two, three, four. We five matches in, and no <laughs> fuckery. Nah, the Saudi dude called it in like Vince, <laughs> what's your son in law doing? There's no fuckery going on, damn it, Hunter, damn it, Paul. Yeah. Do the brass knucks thing, <laughs> and trip and, tri- and Triple H had to had to fall in line. Like, hey, I'll do the brass knucks thing. I guess. How we gonna do it, Santos? Uh, as he he gonna snatch him, but then he gonna leave him in the ring <laughs> for Logan Paul to still still on Rey Mysterio. So had to right. get the fuckery in it for the show, and that was the fuckery. Right, that way he set up the six one nine there. So, of course, this was next. Let's get straight to it. Logan Paul got to lose the belt to L.A. Knight at some point. Yeah. 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 Yeah, there's no, there's no, no debating on that. That's 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 clearly what they need to set up to be. Either it's the WrestleMania match or, or matter of fact, on SmackDown Friday, L.A. Knight just win the belt from Logan Paul. Straight up. That's how I'm looking at it. Yeah, give Logan some time to shine with the belt. Hey, to, but look, I, I yeah. think I think if you just hurry up and take it off, off and give it to LA Knight, LA Knight get his shine right back. Just saying. Yeah. Uh, as far as Rey Mysterio goes, I'm sticking by what I said. Carlito or Santos need to betray him and make the LW a bad group. That way, to be more relevant, Rey Mysterio has not elevated them one bit. I made a joke that he found the, the LWO uh, T-shirts in the trash can. I feel like uh, I'm right now because like, like nobody paying attention to him. They're not even in war games. Not even considered in the war games. Like they could have showed up and kicked somebody and try to get the, get get a little TV time in. Nope, sat in the Man, back. They might have old school survival series, man. Talking about family. Man, look. It's about TV time and Ray not doing this. So Carlito or Santos need to need to take over LWO. <laughs> keep it going. Oh yeah, keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> 
Bianca versus Io. <clears throat> so they finally found a way to give Io a little spark. And they, they, they teamed up with Kyrie saying, and reports say they're going to try to get, get uh do a whole stable, which clearly going to, I guess, include Oscar. You know, and we know how we're gonna do it. Like, like wrestlers, yeah, wrestlers. I think they, they talk about some um some more Japanese wrestlers from um the other company they all uh, was together with. Yeah, I know they they uh, they did they was talking about uh yeah. Look, this championship ringside. They keep they putting all the Asian women together. Hot Asian persuasion about to be all over the TVs for the next few months. Like that, that's that's what it is. That, that that's that's the direction we heading. I, look, ironically, this happened after the match with Fuckery. So look, Vince probably got a little more pull in now. Like, like let's get let's get some Asian let's get let's get some Asians in there, Paul. What we doing? You know, not nah, nah, yeah. I expect Oscar. You know, look, we knew that we knew who was gonna click up. We let's not shy away from. We knew that as soon as we see Kyrie Zane team over Eel, we like okay, so Oscar gotta join them. You know, like, it would look wrong. You know, and then yeah, like I said, you're gonna sign some other people. Uh I like how she just had the most random comeback. Nobody reacted, the crowd didn't boo. Yeah, the, saw the, people, the, the Saudi people barely even rock with the women like that. They debuted her in, in Saudi Arabia, like what the hell? <laughs> but um on the other side, they are, when I say how they doing with Becky and Rhea clearly avoiding them for WrestleMania. They doing the same shit with Charlotte and Bianca. Like, yeah, like they throwing like, them, them triple threat matches and all that shit. Look how stupid this sound. Almost every week, whoever the general manager is say, "Yeah, Charlotte, you do deserve a title match. Yeah, Bianca, you do deserve a title match." And instead of saying, you know what, y'all two go against each other and get in the title match. They never did that yet. So they clearly going to drop the belt to one of the two and they're going to be in the WrestleMania match. I'm just calling it. I could be wrong, but I think that's the other match that they working on. And that's why I think that's why I, your, your question earlier. That's why I didn't say Jay Carter going to be in WrestleMania. But, you know. We clarified that up, but yeah, Bianca and Charlotte, they clearly avoiding that shit. They're doing a shitty job. <clears throat> They're doing a shitty job of uh covering up, but that's clearly the WrestleMania match. Mm-hmm. Keep it going. Oh yeah, keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> LA Knight versus Roman. Yeah. I was about to say, I don't be know, I don't be know what else to add to it. <laughs> no, nah, I got you. <laughs> Um, so what's next for Roman? Same old shit till Philly. I'm not hey, I'm not here to lie to y'all. We got Damien Priest and Cody. Oh shit, yeah. I forgot about that match. Yeah. They both in war games. <laughs> yeah. That, that match was so irrelevant, man. War games. You like, you think, um, Priest gonna cash him after walking. Uh, it makes sense, but you ready for Priest to be champion? No, no. That's the problem. That's the problem I got. Like, I have no reason to sit there and say, "Okay, this is about to happen," and he gonna do it. Like, he gotta drop those tag belts. Like, they can't, they can't hold on to that, and and you know, and still and get a champ. I think that's a little bit too crowded. And yeah, he he don't give me that. Uh oh, Damien Priest the champ, you know, it's like man, fuck out of here, you know. So he gotta do more. So I'm I'm gonna hope he's not t- cashing in no time soon, but that's all I got. War game. Yeah, I, War game. I, I hope he don't cash it in. Like hopefully he hopefully he lose the briefcase to somebody. But if he like, old as his ass, huh? <laughs> hopefully. If you do try to, if you uh, do try to cash in, he just lose the match or something. If they do, then he done. Ain't no coming back from shit like that. So, like Priest is the world champion. Like Cena did it, but it's fucking Cena. Like Cena could do what he want. 
But once you lose that that money in bank cashing, boy, you hit. Boy, it's gonna take a hard time for us to, for us to believe in you again. Corbin ain't never recovered from that shit. Who that? Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin. Yeah, he. he yeah, Damon. Damon Sandow not even relevant no more. Uh huh. <clears throat> L.A. Knight versus Roman Reigns. Uh, what's next for Roman? Same old shit. So y'all might as well just look, just build up the anticipation of him losing at WrestleMania 40. He might not he lose the motherfucker. He, he might not lose the motherfucker. Yeah. Just keep putting up the ones. Yeah. Hey, look. I just y'all y'all seen this coming. Y'all seen this coming. So just just keep the same thing. As far as Ellie LA, LA Knight. Yo, just pull up on Logan Paul ASAP, soon as possible. I look, matter of fact, you should be doing it right now as, as we recording, because like that's how you keep your flame burning, bro. Like you lost no, the Roman, a lot of people lost the no, Roman, but you can't lose the momentum. So what you said? Nobody thought he was gonna be Roman. Exactly. But you don't want to lose your momentum. You don't want to sit there and go against Santos Escobar on SmackDown on Friday. You need to, nah, don't go against Rey Mysterio. You either going against, damn, who, who the top heels on, on SmackDown? Roman. Yeah, and yeah, I mean, yeah, stay out. Of, don't, don't do the Jimmy and Jay thing no more either, man. Yeah, just put up on Logan Paul. While Logan Paul celebrating, you come up there and say, man, look, I'm going to need that out you. Like you're not one of us. I'm gonna need that. And then y'all wrestle at SmackDown or set up the match at Survivor Series. Whatever one works, but that's how you keep momentum. That's all I got for LA Knight. That's what gotta go next for him. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's 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 pretty much the only thing I can think of was next for him. Because anything else, his the next move for LA Knight is detrimental. He can't he can't bullshit his next move after losing against Roman. Nah, I'm still a believer. I, I'm still a believer that put him up against Gunther, let him break Gunther's feet. Yeah, but that means you gotta do a brand split and all that, or uh, some type of brand jump, which of course wrestling don't give a fuck about. But you know, hey, it just bring back the wild card rule. Exactly, they, they, they could pull some shit off like that. I don't know, Gunther should lose like Chad Gable or somebody. Man, I'm really, I'm feeling that set versus Sammy. Is it? They, they, I'm telling you, I, like they, they wasted it, man. They could, they could have built that up to be a a, top, a nice match at Royal Rumble or Survivor Series. But you want to play games? You want to play games? You want to play games? What we gonna play games? That, that was all ages wrestling. I'm like Adam Pierce. No, you're wrong for this shit. Look at him, like. It, just say it. Stop fucking with us, bro. Just say it. Like we, like, we get it. <laughs> when he said game, the crowd just started going crazy. Like, oh, shit. We, like, we fucking get it, dog. But, you know, I appreciate it because, you know, he get, he get that vibe of, of wrestling. He get that feel, that old school wrestling feel. So, shout out to him for that. Well, I see. He said wrestling is wrestling, you know? Exactly. All right, that's all I got. Uh, that's all I got too. So yeah, y'all let us know what y'all think is gonna happen next with the superstar. Like I said, it was one no recap. We we kind of trying to put add a little twist to the recap. We trying to predict what's next for these stars. Anyway, if y'all got some corrections, y'all think y'all got y'all know the next storyline. Y'all think y'all could book shit better than King? Hit us up. 